What you're about to see is how kangaroos are killed for their meat. Look away now if you'd rather not watch the animal die. It's argued that this is the ultimate in free-range meat. An abundant supply, low in fat, tasty, so long as eating your country's national symbol doesn't leave a bad taste. Greg Davison reckons he's shot around 80,000 of them over the years. I think shooting is, is a very humane business when it comes to the meat industry. Our animals are standing out in the paddock in their natural environment. Um, and yeah, before they know it, they're, they're well, for lack of better terms, dead. And um, yeah, there's no stress, suffering. But what we cannot show is what happened after Greg went to retrieve the female kangaroo he'd shot. It was a mother with a baby, a joey, in her pouch. He smashed the joey's head against the truck to kill it and threw away the body. And it's the slaughter and casual disposal of joeys which most upsets animal rights groups. I don't know how you call bashing a baby's head in with a blunt instrument or against a tow bar of a car humane. Hunters argue that a quick death is preferable to starving or being attacked by predators. Fellas that do shoot female kangaroos, they have to dispatch that offspring as quickly and as painlessly as possible. Why? Why? Oh, well, just, just for the pure fact that I don't think, and a lot of shooters don't believe that they live. Like, if you let a joey go out of the pouch, most of the time they're too young to let go. Um, and even if it's still reliant on its mother, it won't survive on its own. Watching any animal being turned into meat is not for the squeamish. We're obviously not going to show you exactly what Greg is doing, but he's gutting the animal, having already removed its head and its tail, and the parts that he doesn't need will be left on the ground here for scavengers to pick over. By law, hunting has to be done at night when kangaroos are more placid and an easier target, but it also means that few people witness what goes on. Critics compare it to hunting seals in Canada. It's more graphic because it's on the white ice and you see the blood flow, whereas in Australia it's basically exactly the same thing we're doing, but it's in paddocks in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night, where no one can see. So, you know, the world crucifies Canada for what they do to seals, and yet we're doing exactly the same thing, killing babies like that here in Australia. But the real threat to the industry comes over hygiene standards. Russia banned imports last year because of fears over contaminated meat, so Australia has been trying to clean up the business. Nice and clean inside. The carefully labelled carcasses are collected in large chillers, and once a week a truck comes to pick them up and to take them for processing. There's always a, a dust issue in the bush, there's no two ways about that, but I think, I think we can get it to a point where it's, it's a very clean. The industry is now seeking out new markets for its meat, but it's also fighting moves to ban imports by the European Union. Their skins are turned into leather, and the parts which aren't eaten by humans are used for pet food. Curiously, few Australians seem concerned about an animal, which is one of the things that makes their country unique. Aussies have led the way in opposing whale hunting, but farmers consider these marsupials a pest, and animal rights campaigners say they're attacked when they protest about killing kangaroos. Ian Woods, Sky News, Cooma, New South Wales. Ian Woods, 5 News, Cooma, New South Wales.